With the subpoena process well underway the past several weeks, it has been widely suspected that some form of cooperation had been reached. And on Monday, that suspicion was confirmed, as it appears House Democrats from various committees have begun issuing subpoenas for some of Donald Trump's financial records, particularly those which involve financial dealings with Russia. The writing was first written on the wall several weeks ago, when House Financial Services Committee Chair Maxine Waters revealed in an MSNBC on-air interview that Deutsche Bank had begun providing Trump's records to her. Well, lo and behold, the New York Times is now reporting that both Waters Committee and Adam Schiff's House Intel Committee have in fact subpoenaed Deutsche Bank for Trump's records. And it doesn't stop there either, folks, as Politico is reporting that House Oversight Committee Chair Elijah Cummings has followed suit, issuing a subpoena to the accounting firm, Mazers, for the same. Interestingly enough, Mazers is said to have requested the subpoena, most likely as a legal basis to protect its cooperation. Needless to say, Cummings obliged. Additionally, Capital One allegedly requested the same and is rumored to have been cooperating with House Democrats for more than a month. In light of this information, it's becoming easier to understand where Donald Trump's tweets this past weekend were coming from. He seemed more frantic than usual, and now we know why. With the subpoenas for his records rolling out left and right, he's now finding himself in the middle of a battle he surely can't win.